Road safety has always been a concern on Long Island. Robert Sinclair Jr. from the American Automobile Association talks about some of the problems we face and the expense of improving things on the island. I think Suffolk County is, is overall more dangerous but simply because it's larger, there are more vehicles, uh, there's more miles of roadway, there's more opportunity for dangerous things to happen. Um, Nassau is, is dense, certainly, but Suffolk is bigger. Um, and there are more vehicles registered in Suffolk County than in Nassau County, so I think that's probably where the problem is bigger. Hempstead Turnpike's dangerous reputation is well deserved. It's probably one of the more dangerous roads on Long Island, um, including perhaps uh, Jericho Turnpike and uh, maybe Northern Boulevard to a certain extent. It's, it's very busy. It's a heavily traveled road. It has what a lot of traffic engineers would call conflict points. There are driveways, there are parking lots, there are pedestrians, there's lots of traffic, there's lots of cross traffic, people coming in and out of parking lots. So there's lots of opportunity for people and vehicles to run into each other, unfortunately. Uh, it's got fairly high speed. Uh, and that plays into the situation as well. The state DOT has tried to do some things to mitigate the dangers by placing uh, left turn lanes, uh, bollards, uh, traffic um, curbs to try and prevent certain behaviors. They've even put fences in some places to keep pedestrians off the roadway. But all of the changes that are really needed would be prohibitively expensive. So when you see a problem with road safety in some way, shape, or form, you attack it with one of the three E's, engineering, education, or enforcement. So we've done some engineering. It seems that perhaps more enforcement, but definitely more education is necessary to alert people to the problem of the roadway so that they can respond.